Welcome back to Big Lots, everybody. We're going to be taking another look at the Halloween merchandise to see what's new since our last walkthrough. So pretty apropos of that, we've got a welcome mat to begin with. But there is a lot more Halloween decor out this time. Um, here we have some kitchen towels. Now, I did do a video on how to turn kitchen towels into no-sew pillows. Be sure to check that out if you're interested in it, but you can always get a good deal on kitchen towels at Big Lots. They also have some pretty cool wreaths this year. They do seem to be having two themes in their merchandise, which um, you can tell by the tags there. One of them is a um, gothic theme, and one of them is a Halloween party theme. But this lamp is kind of awesome. I didn't check to see if there's just a, a regular on-off button. I'm sure there must be, but it's kind of got a steampunky look as well as just sort of horror. It's bizarre. I love it. And we have a candelabra. Looks a little awkward with the thinness, I think. And let's see if we can find one that lights up. Seems to be a bit of a challenge. All right, we can only imagine what those things look like lit up. Here we've got a little light up house. It's a little hard to tell, just those lights in the bottom glow. Nothing in the top. That's a missed opportunity. But uh, this one looks awfully interesting. I think we saw this last year. They certainly, I think they had a similar one at Cracker Barrel, but let's go ahead and see what it does. Moving on, we have a handheld mirror, literally, <laughs> being held by the skeleton hand. I kind of thought it would do something, but it doesn't. But it still looks pretty nice as it is. And I think skulls in urns with flowers is a bit overdone. We've seen that a lot last year. We looked at all these little animatronic babies previously, but it looks like there's a new shelf here of some decor. Skeleton hands holding red roses seems to be a theme. They've got lots of little tchotchkes. They don't seem to uh, separate the Halloween party pumpkin stuff from the glamour stuff, though. I actually thought this little bottle here was separate. It's kind of a nice little collection of materials here. They all go together. Oh, love the little gnome guy holding the Halloween sign. Very cute. <laughs> and here, what is this guy? Let's take a look. I'd be careful if I were you. <laughs> I'm actually planning a DIY of something very similar to that with uh, my tapping witch from last year, so check that out soon. I got a beard and cotton blue. Oh, no, Lord, my baby's making mine. Lord, I don't know why I love oh, All I do is sit and die. Oh, Lord, that last long day. I like that this guy's dog accompanies him and the dog's mouth moves, but why doesn't his mouth move and where are his legs? <laughs> right, no. Remember in our last walkthrough we saw this mermaid in a coffin. Well, if you don't like that because the coffin makes no sense in my opinion, there's a mermaid skeleton there. You can make your own with any of these tiny skeletons in their own fun little work outfits. But moving on, we've got some Halloween signage. Thought this might be a velvet pumpkin. It's kind of velvety, I'm not sure. It's kind of more styrofoamy feeling, in my opinion. Feels very light. I actually have these. I bought these at Ross a couple of years ago, but they're a little less substantial here at the Big Lots. Some pillows. Again, we can make our own pillows using dish towels and save quite a bit of money. 
We've got an enchanted broom. We've seen that before. Some lighting. Here is a little lantern that lights up. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a pumpkin behind a tombstone. Seems like they just threw anything that was Halloween related inside that lantern. We've got some more light up ceramic pumpkins. That one says eek. This one's glass. It's got some lights inside it, but it's a little hard to find one that lights up, so we'll move on to the other lighting. Some spider icicle lights, that's different. But it looks like it's just pretty standard lighting. And of course we have a group of pumpkins that lights up with just one light in the middle. And the lamp post, we've seen it big lots before in the past. So that pretty much does it for this walkthrough. I'm hoping there will be more merchandise because um, usually there's at least a couple of aisles at Big Lots, but uh, with the season as it is and the, the pandemic, who knows? So that'll do it for now, but stay tuned. I'll take another look soon and we'll see what's new later. Till then, guys, take care. Thanks for watching and happy haunting.